Hello, this is Commander Hugh Jardon. Welcome to part two of my uh, walkthrough series for beginners to make a good start in Horizons 4.0. Uh, if you want to know what it's all about, look back to the video before last, which is the introduction where I lay out the whole plan. Uh, we're now at stage two, where we use the money we got from the Sidewinder in part one to buy a Diamondback Scout. Now we go out and do some more shooting, but we can shoot a little bit harder because we've got a stronger ship. So let's go. Right. Um, so we're finished with the Sidewinder now. We're going to get a new ship. So we go to the shipyard, purchase ships, and the one we want is over here, Diamondback Scout. It's the best beginner combat ship. All the people on the forums... Uh, they all tell you to get a Cobra. If you want to do combat, until you get a Viper. I can tell you, I've killed... First of all, my credentials, I've killed more pirates than anybody else in the history of the game. I'm, I'm number one on pirate killing on Inara. So I know a little bit about killing pirates. And when I say this is the best ship for beginners, uh, you can trust me. So um, the both the Cobra and the Viper have... have drawbacks that make them not so good for beginners in fact the cobra isn't very good for anything a lot of people say oh it makes a good first mining ship it doesn't the type 6 beats it hands down for for mining and people don't understand they look at statistics in in uh, in the spreadsheets and stuff like that but when you use things in real life you, you can get a completely different story the statistics don't tell the whole story and that, that's why the type 6 is better at mining than the Cobra, and the Diamondback Scout is better than the Cobra and a Viper for a beginner at combat. When when you advance and you've got all the technique, there, the other ones can come into their own. But this is for beginners, so stick with this this one. I'll explain why uh, later on. So I don't want to store the current ship. I'm finished with it now. It's all free. I don't want it anymore. It's just going to clutter up your storage. So, whoops, what happened? Exchange. So you don't get any money off this one. So I buy this one for 500,000. But now I've got to pimp it up a little bit. So not too sure how, how, how much my money is going to go. So I just want to show you. Uh, can I do it like this? Let's be male. Don't want that. That's what we want. Right. So um, this, this, this is what you're aiming at. This, this built here costs... 1.6 million, and you need a little bit left over in the bank, so we got more than enough. So all pulse lasers, uh, two chaffs, a 3C biweave shield, uh, whoops, a 3A power plant, 4C thrusters. Uh, don't have to worry about the frame shift drive because we're not going to use it just yet. We can pimp that up next time when, when we have to go. In fact, no, we'll get rid of the ship before that. Uh, life support we're not going to use. Uh, a 3A is the best power distributor, and 2A sensors are the best sensors. That enables you to see further. You can see six kilometers with those. Well, as with an E1, it's, I don't know what it is, three or four kilometers. So this is what we're aiming at. If we've got any more money, we could get A thrusters, but then you need a more powerful power plant. And the next power plant up is quite expensive. So uh, probably stick with this. So we might get away with a... A 4B power plant and uh, 4A th thrusters. But if you've only got 2 million, come in and get it exactly like this. Okay, so here we go then. So this time, we, this is the outfitting symbol here. So go there. And so pulse lasers, first of all, they, they've got a lot of that stuff here. Not always all of it, though. So replace module. And we want a uh, pulse laser again. And we want the big, this one here with this symbol, that's the gimbaled one, 2F. Buy and equip, 35,000. This one here, as soon as it lets us. Replace module. Pulse laser. Uh, same one, let's move this time, 2F. So instead of store current module, we're never going to use E things. So sell current, you get a little bit of money back as well. So 
buy and equip that one. Once you click that sell, they stay sell. Otherwise, it puts the old one in storage, which you don't you don't really want. So now with the class one, we put a one gimbaled one. That's that one. And you can use any weapons, but this you know, this is what I do. It it works. Pulse laser, that one. So we've got four pulse lasers. So the utilities, we want those two chaffs. Uh, chaff, 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 chaff. There it is. One, fine, equip. Boom, chaff. Fine, equip. So far, so good. Now we go to the main stuff. So I'm going to leave the power plant just for now and see, see what else we've got. We don't want a frame shift drive. We want the power distribution. Click the wrong one. Power distributor wants to be 3A. Pray that they've got it. That's very important. Because these things do change around a little bit. But this is good station. They've got a lot of good stuff. Right. Oop, too far. So the sensors we wanted 2A. They got those. And we want thrusters. I said the C ones, didn't I? Because I got that bit of extra money, I think I'm going to go for the, the A, A if it's got them. That, have I got enough money? I might have to change that back. I'm down to 1 million. I need my shields yet. And the power plant. So now, we're... When you start fitting uh, modules, you need to keep an eye on your power because that's how much power we've got, 10.4 megawatts, and we're already up to 11.63. We haven't even done the shields yet. So we're going to need some more power. So if we go to the power plant, replace it. I, don't, I haven't got enough for a 4A. 3A is not... If you look... 3A gives me 12 megawatts and I need 11.63, but I haven't done the shields yet. That's not going to be enough. So, oh, I haven't got a 4A anyway, so 4B is only 480,000, so I can manage that. So that's just those shields. Now, see, money's going. Now, see this? That's how much it costs to buy back the ship. This number here, how much you got at the bank, always needs to be higher, just in case you get blown up. It gives you an extra chance. Otherwise, if you haven't got enough money to buy this back, you end up back in the sidewinder again. So any money you got in the bank, you keep any rep or rank or anything like that, you keep, but you lose your ship. And if you've got other ships in storage, you keep those, but you'll be back in the basic sidewinder. So the last one we've got to do is the optional. We've got to get those shields. So we've got a 3E, and we've got to replace that. We should get a little bit of money for our E1 back. Shield generators, not not shield cell banks, shield generators. So we want the three C by weave, which cost eighty four thousand. So sell the current one. So there you are. So we we've got everything now. So this ship is better than the. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna get rid of the super cruise assist because I never use it. That's a way of saving a little bit of power. If you've just gone over a little bit, you can get rid of that because you you don't need it. I'm just gonna sell it. So I've got plenty of uh, rebuys. So 59, I can get blown up about eight times. Uh, I could just, I've got quite a bit of power. So what I might do, I'm just going to go back. I've got a choice. I can either improve my armor a little bit or I can improve my shields a little bit. So I think I'm going to go for the shields. I like I like shields. So just go to option, optional uh, Optional ones. Oh, sorry, uh, utilities. Rather, sorry. And they've got this thing called a shield booster. Here it is here. And an A1. How much that cost? 280,000. So I've got enough for those. Still got enough power. So I click that. Buy and equip. So that, that's just increased my shields a little bit. For safety. Right, so that's it then. So now, just a question of going back. And, oh, very important before you go, whenever you get a new ship or do some outfitting, you need to go to your fire groups 
and make sure you got everything on a trigger. So as you can see, only two of the lasers are on there. So we need to put all four on the same trigger. The chaff. Now, uh, you have two choices. You can put it on trigger two. So when you press the second trigger, the chaff goes off. Or you can put it on its own button. And I recommend you put it on its own button. Because whatever ship you use, you want to know where the chaff button is. Because if you keep moving it around with different fire groups and stuff like that, you've never got fast access to the chaff button. So what will happen if you're using different weapons, you've got some missiles on there, you need them on trigger two. So then you have to open up a new fire group. This is how you make a new fire group. You just move that column. And say so you'd put the chaff on that trigger too. So if, if you had missiles or something in here, you, you, you could put them on that one. So in order to get this one to fire, you've got to change fire groups. There's a button for that. So before you can use this chaff here, you've got to press one button to change fire groups and then press the two trigger before you can fire your chaff. It's much easier just to have it on any button you want or any key on the keyboard, anything separate anything that the computer recognizes put it on there and then when you press that button you're always going to get your chaff and keep it like that and uh you'll be fine so with these fire groups each time you put something in a new in a column then another column comes up so you can have as many i won't say as many groups as you want but i don't know what the, the maximum is but you don't want too many because to change the thing you want you've got to keep changing fire groups all the time it's a bit of a nuisance so um uh, best is to put the chaff on uh, its own button. That's what I'm coming to. So you could put the um, discovery scanner on there. So when you're jumping from one system to another, uh, then you can use the discovery scanner. But I'm not going to be using it for now, so I don't need it. Right, ready to go then. Auto launch. So we've got our fire group started. So auto launch. And then we can put our pips into our favourite configuration again for travelling. But the, the station, the, the, the resource extraction site isn't far away. If we're lucky, it'll be straight in front of us. So, you can use the, uh, com the docking computer to bring you out. I'm going to fly out because it's quicker. Don't have to wait for things. Out on a green side. And as soon as you clear, make sure there's nothing in front of you and boost. And what you'll see now is this ship's a lot more lively in the Sidewinder. You can boost around. See like, how frequently I can boost. Right, just going to um, look at the nav panel. And we want that resource extraction site. Remember, it was about 90 light, light years away. So there it is. And there it was right in front of us. So we're clear of mass slot. Get the frame shift drive going. That, what that means is disruptive means there's a big anaconda behind us slowing us down from charging our frame drive so i just boosted again to get away from it right so it's only gonna take a few seconds this time so the planet's flat ways on or the rings are so as soon as you get to seven seconds put it in a blue zone right now i want to come in about 45 degrees take see where it is there's two of these high ones. One's right near the centre and one's nearer sort of the middle of the rings. I think, I, I think I've got the one near the middle. It's the same as last time. It doesn't make any... There's, there's, where you go doesn't affect the spawn. It's always the same rules apply. Each time you go, the spawn is different. You can get a spawn of just small ships. You can get a spawn of just big ships. You can get a mixed one. And then they can either be busy, medium or quiet. And then those various uh, possibilities are all permutated so you can get any combination of those things uh, a, a spawn of just big ships but not many of them a spawn of mixed ships uh, but loads of them so just keep going till you get the safe disengage which will be at one mm one megameter and you can switch your night vision on if you want ready because we're going into the dark we're in the shadow of the planet so we know it's going to be dark in there. So having the night vision on helps a lot. Don't need your headlights on. It doesn't do anything. So right, we're in there now. Get our weapons out. So you can see all the rocks. So if I take the night vision off, see how dark it is. You can't see where the rocks are. You crash into them. So you need, need the night vision on this one. 
So we've got better sensors now, so we can see the ships better. Let's see what sites support. Oh, and a fair de lance. This is a good sign. So we've got at least some big ships in here. The fair de lance can be worth the most. So we've got these ones here. They're pirates. I don't see any police yet. Oh, there's an eagle up there. That could be a, a police. Here we go, up there. Oh, uh, sorry. Because we've already handed in some bounty money, we're now friendly with the police, or at least cordial. And that turns them green, so we can see where they all are now. Really handy. So now we can see straight away that's the police shooting that fair to Lance. Now he's got a single teammate, which I think is that eagle. So eagle can't do too much to us. So I'm not too worried about him. Don't forget we're in a stronger ship now. So same thing. I'm not in any hurry to start because that eagle will be on us as soon as we start. And we much easier to do them one at a time. So let the police do their thing like before. So let's see what this one's going to be worth. 592,000. Oh, there was something else I could have got that we'd have. We could have got more money, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, let them whittle him down. He's a master, so not the highest rank. So if it was an elite one, it's it'd be taking a long, long while. So there's fighting in a distance. So the problem is if you get too many battles, it spreads out all the police and then it all happens too slowly. So shooting that police now, I can see two eagles. I just missiled him. That one on the left is a... Uh... Oh, his other one's joining in now. So that's a bigger one. Oh, you got two police anacondas now. So he's going to... Oh, shoot him. I didn't see them come. They came pretty quick. When the big anacondas come, they finish off very quickly, so be careful. So that eagle's about somewhere. He might start shooting us. So other than that, we're going for the... Just follow the police. See what they do. Those two big anacondas, if they start on anybody, they're probably going for that other one in the distance to help out their friend. That's the police. That's the one. So a gunship. We've got to watch out that that eagle doesn't start shooting us. So it might do. So it's half gone already, that one. But again, he's got a wing, mate. So a wing of two isn't too bad. Wing of three is bad news. So I need some pips to my weapons. So here, he, here we go, 38, I'll just wait a little bit, oh, he's going, just got him. So we don't know who his wingmate is. So that other explosion was his fighter, I'm going to explain about that in a minute, that's, that, oh, that's his wingmate then. That, that one there, so we just tag him. You don't want to shoot him too much because you've got to have the scan completed to get the bounty, so you can shoot him there. In a sidewinder, you couldn't shoot him when he was at 15%, but this one finished off quite quickly. So, we've been promoted. Just heard somebody else blow up. Right, I need to explain about the, the fighter. So, wait for the next battle. So, just keep looking around. There's loads of ships around. There's a wing of three there. That's going to be, that could be worrisome. You can scan them already. So they started on that one. So if, if the other ones are involved, then you can join in. But that's the main one. It's a Cobra. But the other two, his wingmates aren't defending him. But what will happen if you join in, they will. So don't, don't, when they've got two idle wingmates, do not join in when it's a wing of three. That's a fixed rule. So now, who are they on now? Now they're on the wingmates, so now we're good to go. So, let's see, he's a master, not that high. So, four pips to weapons, maybe two to shields. So, find this other one. Where is he? That's him. Uh, don't, don't be in too much hurry. Take your time. Make sure you get the right one all the time. If you shoot the wrong ship, you'll get a bounty on you, and then all those police will be on you, and you'll get killed. So... Uh, rebuy time. But you will make mistakes. Don't worry about that. So there's one, one here, Cobra. I think he's on his own. So he's only a master. We could take him. 
Uh, they're gone, and it's oh, fair to Lance again. Good money, hopefully. Is he on his own? Yep, good. Perfect spawn this then. We're going to make money quickly, hopefully. So, best best wait a bit, because you can't handle the uh, fair to Lance, and if he prioritises you, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. So, safety first, just wait. He's deadly. He's dropped a heat sink. See that white thing around him? Retarget him. When he drops a heat sink, uh, you can't target him. So he won't shoot until you shoot him. Just take your time. He's got me four pips, two to shield, so here we go. He's got ships all around him, so he's not going to be able to do much. But these weapons do do a little bit of damage, unlike the Sidewinder. So we got nearly a million for that one. So. That's that Cobra. Who are they going to choose next? So they're all moving around purposely. So this is the type of spawn you want. So if it's not like this, do you want to log until it is? There we go. We've got an Asp now. Right. About the... Um... Oh, he's, he's starting to... About the uh, fighter. To check the ship when it's got a fighter, you come to this side here, go to the target panels, right down to the bottom, and down here where it says power distributor friend, what you're looking for is fighter hangar. So this one doesn't carry fighters, we haven't got that. But the ships that carry fighters are gunships and anacondas, mainly. Uh, also crates and um, crusaders can carry them. So check those as well if you see one. They're not that common here. You do get them, but not, not so much. It's mainly gunships and anacondas, troublesome ones. You get a lot of them here. So who are they going to go for next? There we go. Is that that Cobra? Yep. So you've got to be within three kilometres to land a shot. So just get a bit closer. So what I'm going to do now is go 411, so I've always got that boost uh, charged up and ready. So I'm not too worried if they shoot. Oh, the other thing what you want to do is keep watching your shields, and the moment they start to go down, hit the chaff button. So we've got a pirate eagle. Basically, all the ones that's uh, not police that's flying around and are always pirates or bounty hunters but the bounty hunters are always wanted as well so now we've got a wing of three and it's the same rule as before oh who are they shooting i oh, was shooting this one instead so that that wing of pirates is joining in with the police so he's on his own so another rule is Generally, only shoot the ships the police are shooting, not the ones when it's pirates shooting pirates. Because when pirates are shooting pirates and you bet on one of them, the other one can suddenly lose interest. Or the police can come and start shooting the one who had the upper hand. And then it, then the, the one that was killing the other one that you were betting on, is um, you know, it leaves you on your own with the, one, the other one, even though he's low. But if he's a big ship, you're going to be in trouble. Boom, it's another one. So how are we doing money-wise? So, three million. So we had we had about three. We need uh, 15 million is our next milestone for the Vulture. So just stay here until you got 15 million. So this one is in a wing of three, that one. So we don't want to touch him. That's the police shooting him. There's one. No, that's not his wingmate. That's a wingmate. So, Imperial Eagle. I mean, with this ship, it probably will be all right against the Imperial Eagle. But best to be safe. There's another one there. You'll notice that neither of them are involved in the shooting. So, what will happen, as I said, the moment you fire one shot on that Diamondback, they'll both be on you. Or at least one of them will be. So I'm just going to leave that. Diamondback's not worth that much. I'm not losing much. So hopefully the police will go on the Imperial Eagles next. There he's gone. So there's one. Let's see what they do. 
So there's the other one behind him. Yep, they're on that one. So we're good to go now. So. So watching the shields, because that one behind might get us from behind. So, so mysteriously, whichever one you choose, the police lose interest in. So where is, where's the other one? He's up there. Tag him, and then don't shoot. Until you see the sc scans complete. Oh, we scanned him already, that's all right. You mustn't kill him too, too quick before the scan's completed. So as long as it says wanted, bottom left, you get the bounty. So I could hear something. Just heard something go off. It's up there. Definitely heard shooting. Yeah, this one. Cobra. Oh, Ass, rather. It looks like he's in a wing. Elite. No, he's on his own. So that's all right. Who's shooting him, though? A python. So that python's not a police. It's not green. So that python is elite as well. So he's probably going to win the battle. So what we need is the police to start shooting one of them. So now we've got... You've got a diamond back joining in as well. But the police have all wandered off. So you don't want to join in that fight. Don't start betting on them. Let's go and see what the police are up to. There they are. They're all over here. Getting this one. We got him. So stick with the police. It's very easy. You see what, as I said before, you see one of those pirates shooting pirates. One of them starts to go down. Oh, it's an elite python. Get a lot of money for it. But then suddenly the police turn up, start shooting the the other one. And uh, it leaves you on your own. Still here shooting. That's them, no police. So it's a couple of yellow ones over here. These are the ones we want. So he's on his own, so we're good to go on that one. No, we still haven't taken any fire yet. Oh, we did there. See, the shields just went down a bit. It's because he's got turrets. Turrets can shoot in any direction. But they, these by weave shields, they replenish very quickly, so I'm not the slightest bit worried about losing a bit of shield. It's a courier there. See how quickly they're coming out of there, 96% already. So we got him. He's in a wing or two. There's another target over there. It's a sidewinder. Couldn't take that one out. He's only a master. But they, they can put a bit of a fight. Oh, well done, I'm going to shoot him to make the police go for the other one. So, just point and shoot. If you want to turn quickly, put the throttle in the blue zone. So when it goes behind you, I'm not going to use any other technique at the moment. That's for later. So, don't worry, I need to worry about too much. What I could do is use chaff when he's pointing like that. So I just fired the chaff and that stops his shots from landing. Boom, 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 boom. Now he's gone. And then we can get whatever the police are getting. So that one. Diamond back. Get a bit closer. You've got to be within three kilometres land and shot that. Oh no, hang on, that's that python. So, very, very tempting now. Very tempting because he's going and he's got a python on him. So he's probably going to go. Look, he's nearly down and we could finish him off. So, oh, make sure we get the right one. Yeah, we got him. So hopefully the police will go for the python now. We're going for something. Yep, here we go. So it's looking like he's got shield cells to charge up his shield. So it could take a while. We don't know how many used against that diamond bank. They'll, they'll recharge their shields three times. So they're going this time. So he's elite. So we don't want to go one-on-one, -on -one, even though the police are shooting him. If he focuses on us, we'll be in big trouble. So just take your time. Is he flying away? Is he running? He's running purposefully, isn't he? I think he's going. No, he might. He might charge his shields and come back again. Is he coming back? Police don't seem too interested. 
Might have to. Going for the other one now. But yeah, the police can be very fickle. So he's elite. So it should be mindful of the ranks. The higher they are, the slightly longer it takes to kill them. So that's an asp. So it's a diamond back. So they they could go for that python, you see, if you start shooting this one. It's on. I think it's on its way back. So he's, he's running now. Once you get that frame shift drive charging thing, he's put his weapons away so you can shoot. He's going to run. So you've got to try and finish him off before he goes. There we go, we've done it. So a lot of it's understanding their behaviour. So it looks like that python's back again. Where is he? There he is. So hopefully the police will focus more on him this time. Don't forget about your pips. So I'm putting that 411 to keep the shields charged up and the uh, Make sure that capacitor, the engines one's always got charged for a boost. In case I need to get somewhere quick. It's going down. What you've got to watch out is they often accelerate at the end, so don't leave it too late. But then don't leave it too so soon either. Uh, like, these medium big ships often have turrets, so when you open fire, just watch out that your shields aren't going down. All right, that'll do 10%. Let's see if they do. I've got my finger on the chaff button. Yeah, look, there they go. So I'll hit the chaff. The chaff will protect me. See, so they went down about 10% and then stopped once I fired the chaff button. So, something going on over there. That's that courier with his friend. No, they're still right up, not too... They're probably miners that he's targeted over there, clean ships. Yep, so they're scarpering. Right, so where is he? That's him. So he's got a wingmate. That looks like his wingmate. What is it? It's uh, an ass. So you don't know which one. He's not gone far. So... Are they shooting the asp? Who's that one shooting? This one, we'll stick, stick with it. So the asp might start shooting. There, there's the asp. I don't know whether that's his wingmate. Nobody's shooting it at the minute. So we've got to watch that when, when this one's dead, if it comes at us. Might have to run away. Oh, it's the other one that's gone. That's his wingmate gone now. So, I thought it was the ass. I didn't see anybody shooting it. So, he should go a bit quicker now. It's dangerous. So, we could, we, we could handle that on, on our own, probably. But, but we got the police. Let's speed things up a bit. See what happens. Just got a bit of caught in a bit of crossfire there. That wasn't in shooting. Many chaffs might be an idea to stop shooting. Let your oh, is is it getting me with something? I'll chaff. Hold your fire when he's chaffing because you can't land many shots. And it gives your distributor a chance to charge up again your, your capacitor. So a few little uh, combat tips there. So now we're on that one. Diamond back. He's elite, so we don't want to deal with him on our own. Just let him go down a bit first. I think there's, there's some other shooting, is there? Let's make sure it's not a juicy one. That's just a adder. Can we get him? 
Oh, it's a wing of three. Didn't look in time, so the other two are probably going to come for me. But it won't be much, will it? What they're doing, what they're doing. Oh. No, that, that's the main man of three. two Imperial Eagles. Are any of them going to attack? Here we go. Somebody's shooting. I don't know what shooting me. Probably. There's a bit of chaff just in case it's got gimbaled weapons. Their, their tactics are always to boost at you, straight at you, and then go over your head. Because you, then you've got to turn around and try and get them, and they can always do it quicker than you can. Right, he's gone. So who we got left? Is it Anaconda? Who's he shooting? That one. Take him. Wait for the scan. That's it. Now we can finish him off. The other one that we looked at before. We can get him now, hopefully. The four pips to engines to get over there quickly. Tag him in case he goes. So you can only really do damage at less than one and a half kilometers. Oh, he's running. So I'll try three and three pips, see if I can chase him down. I don't think we're going to catch him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. His shields are going to come back as well. Sometimes if you can get close enough, they can't jump. Can I ram him? No, he's gone. Once they start running, they're, they're hard to catch. Later in the game, when you've got a really fast ship, you can chase them down, but... Not at this stage of the game. So there's one, one yellow down there. So it's got to be one of those. Is that probably that sidewinder? Yep. Minor. So that's something else now. Oh, he's wanted. Is that one kill type six is a minor? You should always scan them because you have a chance of getting data. So there's a courier there, he'll be a pirate. They're always pirates. He's with somebody. Can't quite get his wing, mate. There must be a diamond back. So where's the police? So you can go back and cash in at any time. You don't have to wait till you've got the 15 million. And if you die... If you get killed uh, holding those bounties, you lose them. You've got to cash them in to get them. That's his wing, mate. Diamond, but I thought it was. Elite one. Uh, it's just come under fire. So let's see what happens. So the courier is dangerous. So it's weird. Before, in the old days, they they always vote if you shot one and the other one would join in straight away. So it was much easier. But now the second one or the 
other two always just hang around there waiting for you to shoot and then the moment you shoot the other two get you it's a new tactic that's been programmed into them I mean that, that anaconda doesn't seem to be doing much so I'll, I'll, I think I'll look for another battle it's slowing down a bit now and the ships have got smaller so what started off as a big ship spawn seems to have got a small one now so it's something in the distance there So I had high hopes for that spawn, but it seems to have changed a bit now. We've got a couple of police down there. Who are they shooting? Look at that one. Diamond back again. So there's not many big ships. They want these big juicy anacondas and fair de lances, pythons. They're the ones that give you the most money. Minor. I'll scan him while we're waiting. No data. So you got all those police, and I can hardly get a diamond back. So getting the pips ready. I'm going to go four one one to start with. Again, there's the anaconda, he's just pointing all the time, not not shooting. It's, it's, it's like, in the instance, they run out of ammo or something, so they can't shoot anymore. I don't know whether that's what it is. It might be an idea to log just because of that. But look, it's still, look, you've got all these police here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And he hasn't gone down one percent his hull since we've been here. So when it goes quiet like this, so this is when I, I think about logging. So I think I've shown you everything for this stage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on until I've got uh, 15 million. So what have I got at the moment? Six million, and I've got. I had about three million, two and a half million, or was it three million in this ship? So that's given me six, nine so far. So I need another six million. So I'll see you later then, back at the station when I when I got my money. Right, here we are back at the station. You can have a look at the clock, see how long it it is. I'm sitting with about 14 million in bounty money. And um, I've still got a few million in this ship that I'm going to trade in. Don't need this one anymore. So same, same as before. Once you're in the station, let the docking computer put it down. Don't let the docking computer engage outside the station. It always gives you trouble of some sort, wherever you are in the game with whatever ship you're using. So best, always drive through the slot and then let the docking computer put you on the pad as if you're going to use a docking computer. Oh, didn't really need to waste money finishing those things and getting rid of this ship. So first thing we've got to do is get the bounty money. See how much we've got. And uh, contacts, administrative, bounty vouchers. Got just about 15 million. That's enough to get a, a decent vulture. We're going to do it in two stages. So, um, uh, I'll do that uh, in the next session. So that's part uh, or stage two completed now. We have enough money to uh, buy an outfit, the Vulture, in the right way so that we can go and do the pirate massacre missions. So part three, we're going to uh, travel down to Ngarlin and then uh, do some serious business. So look, uh, look out for that. And I'll see you there.